So I was browsing Twitch the other day and I stumbled across this Australian DJ who was DJing this really cool throwback set from 1990 up into the current day. And aside from the good songs, he also had like all these crazy effects, like special effects on his stream and background dancers. So it got me thinking like, how can you stream your DJing sets like for aspiring DJs out there who, you know, are probably not able to go out and stream in clubs like they used to. And, you know, how do you do it? How do you make it look cool? So that's what we're gonna discuss today in the studio. Hey, so since you've stopped by, why not give a like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. We actually noticed that a lot of you are new viewers who haven't subscribed yet. So be sure to stick around for all things live streaming, content creation, productivity. Thanks for those who've been watching and supporting us, but let's get into the video. All right, so the first and most important thing is audio, right? You need to hear the DJ set. So if you're a more traditional DJ, you would likely have two turntables and a mixer. So all you need to do is output the audio from that mixer into an audio input on your PC. This could be your line in port, or if you want better quality audio, you might wanna get a dedicated audio interface like an Evo 4. Now, if you're doing it on the software side, like Serato or Traktor, all you need to do is screen capture the software. You can use Expert Broadcaster to screen capture it. Now, likely you're probably playing the music off your PC, so Expert can actually capture that system sound audio as well. But maybe you're using a controller like a Pioneer DDJ. So if the controller has an audio output, it's the same thing as the turntables in the mixer. You just send this audio output into your audio interface or however you're capturing your audio. All right, now that you have the audio going, you probably want some visuals to complement it, especially if you're streaming live. So why not show people your face and show people how you're vibing to the music? Or if you're a little bit shy, you can just show people, you know, the control, show you mixing on your mixing decks. So for this, all you need is a webcam and a good starter webcam is a Logitech C920. It's super easy to mount on your monitor or it has a quarter inch thread that you can mount on a tripod or anywhere. That way you get the angle that you want. Now, if you're streaming software, then you can basically just screen capture the controls of your DJ mixing software. This is pretty cool to look at. If you don't want just that, you know, you can add a looping video, you know, lo-fi, chill, hip hop beats. You can add just a looping graphic, whatever you like, but just so you have something to kind of complement the music. Now, if you really want to take your broadcast to the next level, you should probably add some special effects or gimmicks or things to your stream. Now, Xplit actually has a really powerful effects engine and you can get all this crazy stuff to happen. Now, if you want to find out more about how to create effects with Xplit, you can actually check out this video that we produced. It'll be linked above and below in the description. Now, a good way to control this is with macros. Macros basically automate things in Xplit and they're good to work in conjunction with. So you can also click on this video up above or in the description to find out how to use macros. But one thing I'll recommend is actually getting an Elgato Stream Deck or a similar type device or app. What the Elgato Stream Deck does is you can control certain actions and trigger certain things and you can place it like right on top of your turntables, or your controller, so it has easy access. And you can even set macros within this. So this is really good to work in conjunction to, you know, give a shout out to a new subscriber or when the beat's about to drop and you want some crazy effects to go off. It's a nice harmony to create a really engaging show. All right, now that you have all your scenes set up, it's time to go live. So Expert Broadcaster supports all the popular streaming platforms like Facebook and YouTube and Twitch. All you need to do is log into your account. It'll auto configure things and then you go live. Now, if you're streaming to maybe a specific website for DJs and live streaming DJing content, then you might need to get the custom RTMP URL and the stream key and input this. And you'll need to tweak some stream settings. So generally a good place to start is 720p, 30 FPS. You can set like a 4,000 bit rate here for that or even lower, depends on your internet connection. But to do this, all you need is at least a quad core CPU or an NVIDIA RTX GPU and you can do a very high quality 30 FPS, 720p stream. Now, if you wanna further tweak your quality and get even higher quality, you can check out this video that we did that breaks down how to get the best stream quality or stream settings. So no matter what your video streaming settings are, the most important setting is your audio bit rate because you want your audience to have crispy, clear streaming. So once that's done, just hit okay and then start streaming and you're live. Now, when you're streaming, the general rules applies, consistency is key. Promote yourself on social media, let people know when you'll be live and when they can watch you. And the unfortunate thing is that DJs kind of have to live on the edge due to DMCA. So make sure to know the policy of the site that you're streaming to. 
And you know, and this is especially important when it comes to monetization. So you might not be able to monetize your content because you might be playing copyrighted content, but just be careful and make sure that your channel doesn't get banned basically. But I wanna know from you in the comments, is there any DJ and live streamings that you like to watch? Do you have your own personal DJ and setup? Do you like the crazy house party with the streams or do you miss the days of raves and clubs? Again, let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was helpful and share it as well. Thanks again for watching and catch you next time in the studio.